Hi, welcome back to the I'm Ready Test Kitchen. Today I'm going to make an eggnog brandy cheesecake using Amoretti's graham cracker crumbs. And I'm going to add some gingerbread extract into the crumbs. And of course, we're gonna use the eggnog brandy compound. So right now we're gonna start with the crust. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add the gingerbread extract to the melted butter. And I know it doesn't look like a lot, but this is a very concentrated extract, so you don't need much. Super delicious and makes a great addition to this cheesecake. So I'll mix that together. Okay, now we just mix all of the ingredients together. Now I have a springform pan that I have sprayed and lined with a piece of parchment, so it makes it much easier to remove in the end. So just mix this together, and I'm just, I'm just gonna press it into the pan and bake it at 350 for 10 minutes. So it's easiest just to spread it around with your hands and then just press it in. Make sure it's even. Okay, gonna bake this, and we'll be back. All right, so I'm going to whip the cream cheese just to soften it. I just like to whip the cream cheese before I add the sugar, just to get it nice and smooth. So you could scrape the bowl a couple of times, keep mixing the cheese until it's really smooth. You don't want lumps in the cheesecake batter, so it's well worth the time to stop a few times and scrape the bowl. Just keep doing it. And it helps if your cream cheese is room temperature, of course, so. Keep that in mind. I'm going to add the sugar now. Scrape it a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to add the eggs one by one, of course. So we'll turn this down a little. So we've got a little bit of salt in here, vanilla, some allspice. And the eggnog brandy compound. There's the magic right there. And this is good. Even if you don't like eggnog, I think you're going to like this cheesecake. It's really quite good. All right, so let's get that mixed in. Okay, now we're ready to fill the pan. All right, so I'm just going to pour this mix into the cooled crust. And this will bake in a water bath. And if you're nervous about using a springform pan, then use a regular nine inch cake pan. But I have had great luck with this, no leaking or any problems. So that's what I'm using. All right, we'll be back. All right, I'm going to make a creme fraiche topping for this cheesecake. It's really good. And it's just creme fraiche and sugar. You can put some flavor in there if you want. I like the idea of having it plain because you have the eggnog brandy going on in the cheesecake and a little bit of gingerbread in the crust, so it's nice just to have this plain. So we're gonna whip this up. Okay, so we're just gonna put this in a bowl. We're gonna chill it and then we'll top the cheesecake once it's cooled. All right, so this is cooled. It's actually been sitting out in the sitting out, been sitting in the refrigerator overnight. So it's nice and cool. And once I top it, I'm going to chill it again for at least an hour. You can put it back in the fridge for overnight as well. Yeah, let's use it all. If you want to get fancy, you can put some crumbs on the side of this cheesecake that makes it pretty, but I'm leaving it naked because I like the way that looks. All right, so I'm just going to smooth this as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's beautiful, just plain white. Okay, so I'm going to chill this for an hour. All right, so this is chilled. It's all ready to consume. I'm going to add a little bit of pomegranate to the middle because I think it looks beautiful. This is a great dessert. You can have this after dinner. You can have it mid-afternoon if you're so inclined. 
You can serve it with fruit. You can serve it with more booze if that's what you'd like to have. There's brandy already in here, so why not keep it going, you know? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel. We want to keep you updated with all of our discounts, our promos, and of course our giveaways. See you next time.